All right, welcome back. So I explained in the previous video um, how to calculate from decimal to 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 I'm sorry from hexadecimal to decimal um, by explaining that you if you work out your notation position where your number supposed to be, right? So in this case here, then you'll know that you're dealing with. Um, so in this case here, if you look at this, it would be nineteen. Right, and it would be, and I explained this previously, so it's not really 19, sorry. Let me just fix that for you. Uh, no, not that. Fix that for you. So what I'm saying here is that, if you look at this here, that would be 1, 9, that will be F, D, and E. And then you have to write it down into its proper um, decimal number which is 15 14 and 13 right and then you had to do the calculation where you take that numbers right and you times it by these numbers here which is your hexadecimal number position and then you'll get to a bigger number which you have to add up you know and then when you add it all up you get to your decimal number so that's how it works really when you calculate and by using this calculation steps you will understand how it works Right, so today we're going to look at how relevant hexadecimal and IP version 6 is. Because remember, we skipped IP version 6, so you first need to understand really um, the link is between the two and how relevant it is. So, if you look at um, your hexadecimal numbering system and your IP version 6, you can see there is a they kind not related, but there is a there is something similar to the two with the patterns. So to understand IP version 6, you must be able to convert to hexadecimal, as we've done previously, to decimal, and vice versa. So I need to cover the vice versa still. Because the vice versa from decimal to hexadecimal would make you understand IP version 6 properly, if you understand it. Hexadecimal is a base 60 numbering system, as I said previously, using the digits 0 to 9 and letters A to F. It's easier to express a value as a single hexadecimal digit than a four binary digit, right? So four, sorry, four binary bit. Um, hexadecimal is used to represent IP version six addresses and MAC addresses, as I explained to you, right? So if you really understand this, um, the concept regarding converting from hexadecimal to decimal and vice versa, you would really understand that how IP version six addresses works how to write it out in binary or decimal and how MAC addresses works, okay? So looking at this here, you would see that in this example here, you have your decimal numbers here, right? Which is zero to 15, right? And in your binary numbers from that, you would see that it's also worked out in the binary format. And, um, and then you obviously have your hexadecimal format. And those are all how they all relate together. That's why you'll see we never speak about octals here. We're not going to work out um, the octal um, numbering system. It's not relevant. It's just part of history and understanding um, the difference between the two and how it works. And you know how to calculate up. But the main three numbering systems we use in IT and networking and going forward is decimal, binary, and hexadecimal. Okay? So if you look at this here, you would see that if you had to write this out in your binary table, you would get the same. If you want to get to 15, you would know that the last digits, if you count 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of um, 2, to the power of 3, right? Those are four numbers. If you work it out, you would get to 15. So how do I get to 15? If I take um, 2 to the power of 3, what would my answer be? Take 2 to the power of 2, what would my answer be? And from there, you work out what's your answer, right? So you're looking at four digits here. So that would be, in this case here, um, that is a 1. So that's 1. That is 2. That is 4. That is 6, right? No, sorry, 8. Why am I counting wrong here? That's 8. Now, if you count the 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1, you would get to 15. Right, 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14, plus 1 is 15. And that's how you work out that 
number from 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 um, from that to that, and this is really how hexadecimal is supposed to be worked out, right? Um, because you're only dealing with four binary bits in each six, and if you look at an IP version six, so to explain to you that better, if I have to bring up my um, command prompt, as you can see there, um, and I do a IP config, I will get a lot of numbers here. But if you look at this here, um, there is my IP version six address. Can you see that there? It's in hexadecimal format, right? Um, you can see that. And if you also look at this, there is um, breaks between the two. But obviously, we'll we'll get to explaining that. Um, what does that mean? How much does it add up? But if you look at this one character that if would be what was the if be the mean the if would be 15 so that would be 15 but also that 15 would mean it's four binary digits right that's four binary digits now if you all add it all up you really understand why they say that in ip version 6 have 128 um, um but if i'm not mistaken let me just think of my calculation um I'll just use Google just to confirm. So IP version six um, bits. Let me take the bit size, and you will see that it's one twenty eight bits. So I was correct. I wasn't wrong, right? So the way it works, right, is you mainly have to count. You know, you see that there's your base two numbering system again. There's your decimal numbering system, right? But what we're looking at is our bind. Sorry, did I say base two? Yeah, base two binary. One twenty eight bits. How do you get to one twenty eight bits? You look at that amount there. You look at that decimal value, and then you out add amount of bits as you can see here, and then you'll figure out that this is actually one twenty eight bits because that if represents a, as I said previously, it represents fifteen, which is actually if you have to write it down, it's four ones, right? Then there's an E. What does the E do? The E represents three ones, right? So it will be 14. And then there's an 8. 8 is normal 8. But if you add it all up and you add all that by bits, you will get to 128 bits. Right? In that one row. And with IP version 4, we have, what's IP version 4? 32 bits, right? So it's 32 bits, so you'll have um, 8 bits in there, 8 bits in there, 8 bits in there and another eight but that's basically the whole range of um, um how you work out your ip address um which is 32 bit so ip version 6 as i said it's um, 128 bits and and that's mainly how you work it out okay i hope that helps you and i hope that makes you understand how it works um the next i wanted to look at placing it and then you really want to see how what i meant by the zeros right so i could have had zeros but i didn't have zeros so if you look at this as i said ip version 6 address is 28 bits right in length and every four bits as i explained to you is represented by a single hexadecimal digit right single hexadecimal digit as i said earlier um, you look at the ones here at the bottom which is obviously f f represents 15 so a single hexadecimal digit is one letter if that's one hexadecimal digit and that makes up the ip version 6 address to a total of 32 hexadecimal values right so if you add up all these f's here you get to 32 of all those f's right and if you look at the figure next to it it shows your preferred method of writing out an ip version 6 address what each x representing four decimal values, hexadecimal values, right? So each x here, as you can see there, represents four hexadecimal values. Each x represents four decimal hexadecimal values, right? And four hexadecimal digits or values is 16 binary bits. Now, what does that tell you? Four of these values, if the x represents four of these values, that would be what you have to write it out if you have to write out the binary number it's all in fours so it's 16 binary bits what does that tell you that tells you that um if you look at these here that's how you have to write it out in binary but the values each value right 
So I hope it's not confusing. I hope you, you see what's happening in the pattern. Um, and also each four hexadecimal character group is referred to a hexadet. Uh, it's another term, hexadet, right? Um, it's just what I refer to hexadecimal character group um, in that sense. It's called the hexadet. Um, so that is really what I want to show you the relation between jumping from numbering systems, getting to understanding the difference between hexadecimal to decimal, binary, and now really understand how IP version 6 addresses forms part of that and how you use that whole concepts what you learn in the beginning to form and build your whole knowledge around IP version 6 and the 128 bits that you get in lint okay so that is what I'm trying to show you why I build up from that to that because I can't show you just this without under make you understand that there is a beginning of how everything started right and if you look at the conversions um, you just follow certain steps so you convert your decimal number to eight binary bits strings so that decimal number as I said use that to convert to binary to use you know then you divide the binary strings into groups of four so then you divide them into groups of four um, as I show you you divide them into groups of four and then starting from the right most, most positions you start from the right at always as I said earlier Convert each of the four binding numbers into equivalent hexadecimal digit. That is how you have to convert from decimal to hexadecimal, right? So what you do is you first convert decimal number to, sorry, that's how you convert from decimal to hexadecimal. All these numbers, crazy. So you first have to convert to decimal to binary. And then from there, you break out that binary into four, um, starting from the rightmost position. And then also what you do is you convert that binary numbers into its equivalent hexadecimal digit and that's how you convert decimal to hexadecimal so example like you see here at the bottom you have 168 and that needs to be converted into hex using a three-step process so what are you doing it you're taking a 168 in binary which is written as that right so 168 in binary if you use your binary table you will get that answer then they're saying in the two groups of four binaries you break it out and you make it that so what they're doing here they're breaking it out into groups of four right and then 1010 is a x a and 1000 is x eight so that 68 is eight it's eight it's eight eight sorry it's a eight in the hexadecimal um, so to put it that way what you had to do here is you drew your table right to your four tables uh, do that do another table um, right and you do that and you make it four so what you do is here because you're converting that to binary you've done that already so what you do here is okay that should be four not one and that should be four all right so what you do is you put that one oh one oh and then you take the 1000 which is there that's now breaking it out into two you know remember you said you have to break it into two groups so you're taking that one big number there and you break it into two groups of four that's the the calculation and then what you do is you add it all up so obviously remember binary what did i say, tell you i always said that you start two to the power of zero two to the power of one to the power of two and two to the power of three right so what would that be if you had to work that out so in this case here you don't use this remember it cancels out that would be then two right is it because that cancels others out no it's not yeah it's two to the power of one is two then that would be four no that's zero it cancels it out right so you don't use that remember it's a zero day that would be eight right so what does that tell you that tells you that there would have been a four year there would have been a one day but because this is zero in the binary but you don't use that so eight and two is what you get the right then here you have another one so you have same one if you look at that there so that's another eight right and that will all be zeros because they all cancel each other out in shape with this as well yeah what is saying there is your hex then if you look at this you would then have eight plus two which gives you a 
which is 10. So 8 plus 2 gives you 10. Remember 10? And you need to convert that to the hexadecimal value, which is A. Right? Then you add that all up there in that side there. That's only 8. And 8 value, if you convert it, stays 8. And that's why you get A8 as your answer. I hope that has helped you understand how this happened. And I hope um, I don't have to repeat this, this process. But what you have to see is you have to convert it to hexadecimal and write it out in hexadecimal. But you do your calculation in your little binary tables. Thank you.